Hey Simlies, it's Deligracy here. Welcome to Let's Play The Sims 4 Barbie, Season 2, Episode 14. And we've got the whole family walking towards us. And I've decided just now that I really want to give Topaz a little bit of a makeover. Uh, sorry about the delay on this LP. Actually, all my LPs, I was getting a new computer PC that's hopefully going to perform much better to avoid all the lagging we've been having in this LP recently. So uh, do let me know in the comments down below if you find or how you're finding the quality of my channel in terms of this LP, because uh, this is really basically the first uh, LP that I'm recording on the new computer. So let me know what do you think of it. And yes, 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 yes. Okay, so Barbie is really, 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 really close to having her baby. So <laughs> uh, we want her to probably rest up, make sure she's doing okay. We might get her to, oh, are we gonna do something cute right now? Oh, look at these two. You guys are the cutest couple ever, just playing kids' games together. This is probably good because we do want them to have twins and there has been a lot of speculation that if you play games for kids, if you watch the kids' channel, it helps you have twins. And if you've been watching this LP for a while, you will know that has been our aim <laughs> to have twins. Oh, it's been so sad. Anyways, they didn't play that for very long, so let's get Barbie to maybe have a little bit of a snoozle. Looks like that's what she's doing anyway, having an early night. You go, girl. And uh, Ken, you know what? Let's send you up into space. That's probably more worthwhile than going to mourn Margie, which you do pretty much every day. Who knew that Ken loved her that much? <laughs> let's explore space. And uh, let's get Topaz to have a little bit of a makeover, I think. Oh... These guys are so cute. You guys are super duper cute. And how are you going, my little Ruby? Do you want to have uh, a little toilet time and maybe we'll get you to... Can a kid call their friends? Maybe we can call Elsa or something. Send a happy text. Chat. Send a text. Send a happy text. Fernando. Send a happy text. You know, she's a she's a social butterfly, our little Ruby. She loves to, oh my God, she's texting on the toilet. That is the cutest thing ever. We need to photograph this moment and have it in our memories forever because that is adorable. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're funny. She's a little socialite. You know, they're a wealthy family. They're a famous family. Did someone wet the floor? Oh my gosh. Small craft spotted. Okay, I can't be bothered. Uh, oh, Elsa wrote back. I agree, Ruby, it's a great day. Let's go out and enjoy the day. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go out and catch up, but we're definitely going to have to take a few Sims with us because I think it would be bad for us to go by ourselves. So let's get Topaz and Amethyst to come with us and maybe Amethyst and Topaz can meet a few people they like, potentially. I am actually going to ask you guys for a little bit of help. Uh, I would really love Topaz to date a really quirky, interesting kind of girl or maybe just a lovely girl. Uh, so if you guys feel like creating some sims uh, and uploading on the gallery using the, the hashtag, <laughs> the dash tag, what are you on about, Deli? Uh, maybe use the hashtag <laughs> Deligracy Barbie. Okay, hashtag Deligracy Barbie, and oh, who's this girl? Uh, preferably, can we not have blondes? Because <laughs> this LP is made of blondes, and I feel like Topaz and Amethyst really are trying to get away from that, uh, that Barbie stereotype that their family has already always had. Is this James? Is that James Turner just because of the beard? Oh, no, that's definitely not him. He does not wear that, and... His booty is not like that. <laughs> so that's okay. Oh, this is so cute. They're all hanging and playing together. Elsa's so sweet. I feel like they're going to be best biffles when they grow to teens. And you know what? Let's have a little bit of... Uh, a, little, a little bit of a gathering with all our good friends right now. Uh, oops. Didn't mean to do that. Who's this guy? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, there is a nude person right here. You're around children, Jesse Faulkner. You should know better. 
You know what? Let's get Topaz to say something because knowing him, he would find this absolutely hilarious. Uh, so maybe let's go wake, wake this chick up. You'd think that's so funny, being a bit of a funny kind of guy. Maybe give a friendly introduction, because I don't think he'd be rude to her, but maybe just be like, look, bae. Uh, he wouldn't say bae. Look, bae, do you want to maybe... <laughs> he'd probably show off his outfit and be like, do you like my outfit? These are my clothes. Maybe you should go get some. <laughs> How about that? Uh, and maybe... Not be mean. Do we not be mean? <laughs> Maybe ask her to go away from the kids. I know it's a bit mean, but you can't bring your hippie ways to a park where there's kids, you know. It's like, come on, leave, leave. There's children here. Are you gonna leave? Okay, fine. Fine then. This guy looks cute. Wolfgang Munch. Oh, Renegades. He's probably mean, though. But I feel like Amethyst would be interested in his unique uh, his unique eye makeup. She loves the guys a little bit alternative. Who's this? Sophia from the Paragons. Yeah, that's more Diamond's crowd, not our crowd. So we have a friendly introduction right there. Oh, double upping on Parks. That's cute. And uh, Diamond, let's keep socializing with your friends. Talk about the Ruby Reds. About how awesome we are. Ask about day. You know. Just have fun. Just have fun. Uh, where is Amethyst? Oh, she's a little bit distant right now. Oh my god, random naked homeless person. Okay, then. Whatever. And Topaz has reached level two of the cooking skill. Good to hear. Are you cooking up a barbecue or what are you up to? Awesome. Grab a serving. I like that. Even if he's sitting by himself. I like oh, I feel like Amethyst is into him and he's into her just because she's turned his back on him, so she seems really nervous and he's full on checking her out. There's no doubt about that. Wolfgang Monk and Sophia. Okay, they're not brother and sister, I thought they might be. Girl, do you want to face who you're talking to? Ugh. She's got a bit of a funny way of doing things, Amethyst, sometimes. Or maybe she's just nervous. I don't know. But let's just get along with him. You know, you know we might want to get, uh, get with him at some point. Topaz, you're looking a little sad over here. Maybe we should call one of your friends. Uh, oh gosh, Jesse. We don't want to be associated with you. What about... Oh no, Neve was mean. So we didn't want to get with her anymore. Avery... Uh, hot headed. I want someone more unique. Chandler looks kind of cool. She wears a beanie. And you know what? Is there some mirrors at this lot? Because I wouldn't mind him changing his appearance. Hopefully, this works, even though it's behind the counter. Because I always get confused with that. Okay, Topaz, let's go. The many faces of the whispering wishing well. Oh, didn't get to finish that. All right, so Topaz is obviously the kind of guy who I think he's hilarious. He wants to be a comedian, but usually that humor sometimes is to cover up insecurities. And I think he's probably insecure about his big hair. Uh, so I think we're going to go back to him being a little bit more alternative, liking to wear a hat, uh, just because I feel like, I don't know. I think I felt a bit maybe when i gave his original alternative makeover i was a little bit put off by the comments not liking how alternative he was but really i want to go with my gut i want to make sims unique i'm sick of the same sims i want my sims to represent the real world where there's all kinds of different people out there and not everyone is skinny and you know i want different body types and everything so uh for now he's just gonna have a bit of a different kind of uh, style. I think that's fun. This is kind of cute. Kind of digging this. Let's give him some different shoes though, because I'm not liking these. Uh, let's go with. Ooh, they're a little bit too rubbery. Mm. That's kind of cool. I just want him to kind of do his own thing. He probably have some bracelets too. Ooh. Uh, but yeah, I'd say his insecurities are covered up by 
him being hilarious. And he definitely has a little bit of an indie vibe going on. Uh, and when I say indie, this is probably in comparison to Melbourne standards. So if you guys get confused uh, and are like, that's really not very indie. It's probably because I'm going bad. Aussie, Aussie vibes here. All right. Love these three quarter pants. He looks so cute in those. Can we put some socks on though? Because I feel like you get really bad chafage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's give him another beanie. Let's give him... I feel like he'd have a beard when he's older too. For sure. Wear a green one for now. Is there any other tops that are a little bit different? Oh, that was... That one's by far the best one. We've got this outfit, which is my fave. What is that? What is that line there? How can I have upgraded to a better graphics card? Like way better and that be happening. Can we just check out game options here? Graphics. Very high. <laughs> They're all in the highest settings, right? That's annoying. Post, what's this? Enables global Ooh. focus lighting and shadowing effects. Mm, we want that, what's this? Uncompressed sims textures. What does that do? Will that help us? Oh, no, let's not do that. Okay, I'll do this off camera. <laughs> All right. Yes, I'm... Oh, what? Fine, we'll, we'll not do anything. I really hope that's not going to be something I have to deal with now. <laughs> kind of sucks. I don't like this outfit anymore. We are not wearing that anymore. Ooh. Oh, I like this one. Let's go this and give him those funky dropped crotch pants as well because I am oh, quite oh. into them. I'm not as into these. Those ones, uh -uh. Gray's kind of cool. Green's kind of, no. <laughs> I'll just go black with a pair of thongs or as you guys would call them, a lot of you guys would call them flip flops, but we call them thongs here. It doesn't mean a G string, okay? So for all of the similes giggling right now, that's not what I'm talking about. All right. Hmm. This is new music. I like this music. Oh. Hmm. Maybe you can wear a cap. Yeah. Oh, wow. I just realized I have a serious crush on him. I have a crush, you guys. The crush has developed. Can we give him some... He's getting a little bit older now, so he could have a little bit of a... A uh, little bit of facial hair, right? Just a little bit. I'm trying to make him older so I can date him. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. Amethyst is getting angry at little Ruby. I think she's trying to say it's time to go home. Uh, so let's take them home. Ruby's definitely been out way past bedtime, but I guess it is a Saturday night, so that isn't so bad. She's got to say goodbye to her crew. And I love that she's in her princess outfit. She's like, see you guys. Thanks for hanging out. It was so much fun. And Topaz, I would prefer you to wear your new clothes we just gave you, but that's okay. That's okay. Alrighty, we're back home. Diamonds or I'm um, not diamond. Damn it, Deli. Ruby is playing with her with her little thingy, but let's get her to go to sleep in her magnificent and spoiled uh, little girl's bedroom. She can go to bed now. And I also read a few comments where a lot of you guys were saying, "Oh, Ruby should totally uh, dye her hair red when she grows up to go with her name." And I quite like that idea. She could be a bit of a foxy red character. That would be pretty cool uh, once she ages up a little bit. Okay, Topaz, are you in your proper bed? Yes, he is. Perfect. He's getting a bit of rest there. Barbie and Ken, what are you up to? Ken's in a pretty good mood. I feel like I just want him to get his... I really want him to get his rocket uh, skill up to 10. So where are we up to? Rocket science is up to 7, 86% complete uh so i don't know i think we just explore space more and more and more to get that to go up yay ken can now take family leave that's so exciting it'd be so cool if he had an alien baby at the same time as a real baby what gunther uh barbie do you want to maybe not be in a towel dress talking to some random man called 
Chanta that just happens to be on your street. <gasps> He's such a creep. He's like, hello, Bobby. <laughs> That's creepy. Nah, he actually looks like a really nice guy. They're probably old friends. I don't really get what the go is with Barbie, though. I feel like she's got a lot of pregnancy hormones going on, so we'll just let her be a little bit strange for now. By the way, girl, if you wet yourself, that's your fault. Invite to feel baby. Maybe not. Maybe not ask him to feel her baby. Do we even know you, Gunther? Okay, we know him a little bit. Sounds like Ken just took off in his... Uh, <laughs> so, so. In his Yon? rocket ship. Can we invite him in? I don't know. Bobby just wants to be Bobby. wants to be nice. He's not. Not oh, a bit of a gossip, so we'll get her to gossip Sparks. about her neighbors. Oh, surrounded by the space police. Ken is still choking on the aliens. What? <laughs> I should have read the last one. Choking on the alien spacecraft's exhaust when he hears sirens blaring in the distance. The space police surround Ken's rocket ship and demand to search his cargo bay. He can turn over the goods and hope for the best or help the alien and possibly himself by hiding it. <sighs> The Unfortunately, the police captain's no idiot. That's actually a big word for the Sims to use. When Ken turns on the charm, the only... That only makes the officer more suspicious. The police find and confiscate the contraband, giving Ken a stern warning to keep away from alien riffraff. Relieved and refueled, Ken blasts off for home. That was the slowest exploring space experience you've ever had, Ken. Oh, and boy, are you looking dapper. Done all the... Oh, that we can do with that. Did that go up from 70? Wow. That scared so, me. Did so we just go up from... So that is making Good. That's what I like to hear. I really hope the kids get enough uh, sleep so they can get some socializing done tomorrow. Also get a bit of homework done tomorrow. That's kind of what I want them to do. Maybe we'll... Ooh, passing the planet. Yeah. Ken sees a weary, a weary looking alien standing amid a huge pile of trash bags and rusty futon parts. Turns out he's moving to a new pad on the planet Romita. That's so cute. And his friend who was supposed to help just bailed. Ken's got some extra time. Should he pitch in? Sure. Not that we really had a choice then. Whatever. Okay, Barbie, it's time you look after yourself. Oh, she was trying to and I just basically told her not to. Let's go to your beautiful beautiful uh bathroom here's a toilet there oh i wish i had this ombre mirror in real life i would have the blue purple and pink set oh good thing ken has an expanded cargo bay it's a lot of stuff to move old stuff but it all fits in pretty easily and they blast off for romita rompita the alien is so grateful he gives ken his least dirty futon mattress and thanks ken okay return home Short expeditions, but they're okay, I guess. What I was trying to say, I really want this ombre mirror for myself. And then Boy Fligracy could have the boy version that's green and blue. And I would have the pink and purple version because it's so pretty. <laughs> so pretty. I'm also really, like weirdly obsessed with this statue with the green top hat. I think it's so kitsch and so awesome. I kind of want that statue in real life in my future house. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Oh, what? Did you just pee yourself? Oh, my gosh, Barbie. I know you're pregnant, and I know you have a weaker bladder because of it, but I just feel like that is so not okay. So how about I take a little bath? And, uh, is she going to have... Oh, she's just going to have a normal bath. Okay. I was going to say have a soak bath, but that's okay. And a do what you gotta do, girl. Aww. You do what you gotta do. Oh, yeah, I would be doing that as well. Can you please come up? I get really nervous about her being underneath there for too long. All right, Ken, let's have a little bit of a midnight slash 2 a.m. snackaroo before you get some sleep. Be like, mm, pancakes by my wifey. What'd she make me today? Just excellent pancakes. They look like they have a bit of maple syrup and butter on them. Oh, I love pancakes. Pancakes and probably um, nachos are my favorite foods. But I don't like making the pancakes for myself. I like going out for pancakes. And I just like nachos when I make them myself or they're made for me. I love them. All right. He's coming back, you guys. 
He's almost home. I love how the astronaut statue's right next to his astronaut. Um, oh, his astronaut <laughs> next to his rocket ship. Come on, Kenny, baby. We want you to come home. Come home, Kenny. Oh. Damn, man. Let's take a picture of you. Let's take a really nice picture of you. Oh. <laughs> Damn, boy. Mm-mm. You're looking good. <laughs> You're looking very, very handsome. <laughs> Funny. He's just really happy. He loves, he loves being in space. I don't blame him. It's pretty impressive. Let's get you a little bit of food. Mm-mm-mm. We'll also have to have Diamond's wedding really soon because it's time. It's time for her to get married. We had a little bit of a break. Oh, do not eat that, Kenny. <laughs> He's like, whoa, buddy. But yeah, I felt like I had so many weddings on the channel. It was just too much. So we, uh, yeah, we're just going to. Uh, wait a little bit longer before we have it. Okay, Barbie. I know you're embarrassed, but let's just go to bed, okay? Let's go to sleep. Let's hide from everyone and tomorrow will be a better day. Alrighty, well, I'm going to resume in the morning. Oh. Yay, Topaz is up. He's ready for the day. He looks confident and very happy. So let's get him to... Uh, because these pancakes are smelly, I want to get rid of them before someone gets sick. We do not want to be sick in this household before a new baby comes. And he's going to try, even though he doesn't cook very much, I think he's going to try and be nice to everyone and make eggs on toast, just because he's a nice guy. Then I wouldn't mind him if he... Oh, Amethyst is already wanting to cook something, and she's wearing her Adams Wednesday Adams-inspired outfit today. Okay, maybe Topaz... Has he already gone to the kitchen? No. We don't need to make two lots of breakfasts. Mmm. <laughs> Breakfast baked potatoes. Mmm. Gotta love that. They can have a bit of a Sunday, Sunday breakfast. And how's Ruby going? She's wanting to eat some cereal. Let's just get you to have a shower first, girl. Or a bath. Topaz, you may as well shower first as well. And uh, then we can all have a bit of a family meal. That would be nice, I think. All right, let's get you to go to the toilet. And when everyone's ready, we'll all grab a plate. And I might get rid of that as well. I just, in this house, I really, because the house is new, I just really don't want us having dirty plates everywhere. You know, I'm just not into it. Oh, Ruby, she's so cute. She wants to play with Topaz as well. Oh, bless. Why didn't you have a shower, girl? Why didn't you do that? Huh? All right, before Amethyst takes a piece, I want to make sure that she calls to meal. I want them all to eat together. Damn, they look good. <gasps> I'm hungry. I'm so hungry now. Oh, she's so sweet with her little bun and her onesie on. So cool. Grab that. Kenny. Kenny boy, I know you're not fully uh, rested, but we want you to join in as well. So, so. <laughs> oh, Topaz is such a cool guy. I love how alternative these these kids are. They're so different to the rest of the fam. Yay! Be family awesome. breakfast before the new baby comes. Where's oh, Maya? you did not just pee yourself again, Bobby! Girl! You didn't, did you? Oh, oh my gosh, barb. hashtag that pregnancy bladder. Oh, and you know what, you guys, you guys go take care of yourselves. Arfin, what is Arfin. with the, the Robert's bladders? You know, the kids can just have Sunday breakfast Swim. together. Pull yourself together, adults. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they all think it's hilarious that Barbie peed herself. It is pretty funny. I do want Topaz to get up on that, uh, get up on that mic. So we're gonna do that quickly. Once he's all, all eaten, and full, and feeling good about himself. 
Wow, he's in a really good mood. Awesome. Let's get him to to have a practice. Where did we put his mic? It's in his bedroom, right? Yeah, there it is. He can practice in front of the... Oh, don't do that. Oh, damn. We don't want to hire a comedian. We want him to to learn. Is, is Barbie crying because she's so embarrassed? Oh, wow. Ruby is at level eight of socialness? She is going to be an absolute little socialite. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I'm really sorry, but we did not mean to hire you. <laughs> Can you please leave? Barbie's like, oh, hey. She doesn't really care when the kids spend the money because they have so much money. Wouldn't it be crazy to live like that? Alrighty, guys. Well, Barbie's about to bust, so I'm going to leave that pregnancy for the next part. Make sure you do leave comments on what names you would like to call their next child or ch children, plural, because hopefully we do have, uh, do have some twins. And by the way, I am so thrilled that Stella Halcombe was invited to breakfast. What a honor. What an honor. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I will speak to you soon.